welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my most popular craft show items, which is this twisted headband or ear warmer, if you will. And as you can see, it's double knit. So it's knit on the inside and out, which is really nice um, because it's like extra thick and squishy and it's gonna keep anyone extra warm. So if you wanna see how to make this headband, just keep watching. Okay, for this project, you're going to need some scarfy yarn. This is by Lion Brand, and it is a weight five bulky yarn. This is 78% acrylic and 22% wool. So it's really nice and soft. The colorway I'm going to be using today is silver and charcoal. So it's this nice um, black and gray combo here. So it's gonna give us a really cool ombre. I really like this one. Now I would say that this is a beginner friendly pattern. However, if you are a little bit newer and you think you might have to frog something, I would recommend using a different yarn to start. Maybe just like a simple uh, yarn that's in a weight five. This is a little bit hard to frog. It gets caught on itself. If you're familiar with this sort of yarn, you'll know what I'm talking about. So if you're newer, I would recommend starting off with a different yarn and then coming to this one when you feel a little bit more confident. Um, but I do really like this yarn for this project and pretty much any project. You're also going to need a set of eight millimeter, 16 inch circular knitting needles. A stitch marker, I'm just going to be using one that I sell in my Etsy shop, one of these crystal stitch markers. You're also going to want a measuring tape, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle, but I cannot find my tapestry needles right now, so I don't have those to show you. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, now that I found the center of my yarn, does this ever happen to anyone else? All of this yarn barf when you're just trying to find the center of your yarn? Every time for me guys. So, all right. So we finally found it. Um, and we're gonna start with a long tail cast on. So we're going to pull out, I always do like an arm's length. I like to pull out an arm's length of yarn. And I'm going to make a slip knot and slip it onto my needles. And we're gonna cast on 44. All right, so I've casted on my 44 stitches and this is gonna be the width of your headband. So this is gonna be how wide it is. 
So if you wanna make like a child size headband or you just wanna make an adult size headband that's a little thinner, just cast on less stitches. Um, you may need to switch to double pointed needles if you do less stitches, just be aware of that because as you can see, the 44 stitches is a pretty tight squeeze on here, but we'll make it work. That's what this is going to look like. So you wanna make sure your stitches are not twisted and we are going to join in the round. Now you can go ahead and slip the first stitch. I don't usually do that. I usually just go straight into knitting. So I'm going to slip on my stitch marker to show me where the beginning of the round is. Now this isn't necessarily super important because we're not gonna go by how many rows we're going to measure in inches, how long it is. Um, so just go ahead and attach your stitch marker if you want one. And then we're just gonna start knitting. I also wanna mention that you wanna leave a pretty long tail because we're gonna use this at the end of the pattern to sew up the end of our work. But I'm also going to go ahead and use that in addition to my working yarn and knit the first stitch just to make sure it's pretty secure. And I'm going to knit the second stitch as well with that and then I'm going to drop the tail. So for this pattern, we are going to knit all the way around until our piece measures 19 inches in length. So I'm going to knit every single stitch. So once my piece measures 19 inches in length, I'm going to come back to you and show you how we finish up the headband. Now, if you wanna make a child size headband or a larger adult headband or smaller adult headband, all you need to do is know the circumference of the head that you're making it for. So if you're making it for a child, go ahead and measure their head. Or if you have a chart that tells you a general idea, if you're making them for craft shows, um, go off that. And I like to make it about an inch sh or two shorter than what I actually want it to be, just so it's gonna be snug and it's gonna fit really nicely on the head and not fall down over your face. So go ahead and knit the length that you're needing for the size headband that you want. For me, like I said, I'm making an adult size, an adult woman size headband. So I'm going to do 19 inches of straight stockinette and then I'm gonna come back. So I've finished my 19 inches of stockinette in the round and I went ahead and casted off all of my stitches as normal and I left a really long tail so we can finish off the rest of our headband. So something I really like about Scarfy is the gradual like color changes here, but sometimes you get unlucky and they like cut it and tie the new color and you get this really annoying seam. So that's why it looks like that. But normally Scarfy is really pretty and fluid as you can see in this headband here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take that long tail and we're going to sew up the end of our headband. I've gone ahead and done it to this side already so you can see that it's closed up. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a basic stitch to close this up. You could even use a crochet hook to do this step if you prefer, um, but I'm just gonna go back and forth. This is just to keep my seams together and even. I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing up the top of this one and I'll come back to you to show you how to finish it off. All right, so I finished sewing up the last side of my headband and now we're going to make the twist and we're gonna seam. So the way I like to do my twist is I just take one side and fold it all the way around like so. And you're gonna get that nice tur turban twist in the front and then you'll kind of just bring the two ends together like so. I'll show you one more time. If you lay your piece flat, you can take your top left corner and just fold it to make it the bottom left corner. And then you will just fold it in and connect the sides. And now we're going to use a mattress seam to seam up the two ends. So I'm going to take that same tail I was using and I'm gonna go on this side, the first stitch, back under this side. And there's more in-depth videos you can find on doing a mattress seam. Um, this is just how I like to seam my headbands because I think it's the most seamless look. Um, it is a little bit bulky in the back, but I honestly don't think it makes that much of a difference. So I'm going to continue to seam up the headband and then I will show you what it looks like whenever we're all finished. All right, so there's my finished seam. You can see how nice and clean it looks. And then on the inside, there is a little bit of a bump, but nothing too crazy. So this is what your finished turban style headband will look like when you're finished. Just flip it over and adjust the, the twist accordingly.
All right, so that is the finished tutorial on how to make your very own turban style double knit headband. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for more video ideas that you'd like to see in the future. And I'll see you guys later.